what if some of those sinners who have repented in the past of their sins, and what's the word we use here in southern Indiana? They backslid a little bit. You ever heard of backsliding? Well, backsliding in southern Indiana, that means, you know, you've been on the high road of salvation and you're doing real good. And God loves you and you're praising Jesus and everything's hunky-dory, but you kind of slip a little bit. And you kind of backslide. It's called backsliding. Now, um, I guess that'd be called a Jack Christian. I think that's probably what you'd call it, maybe. So the question is, if unrepentant sinners aren't permitted at the table, okay, and I don't believe that, but let's say they're not, what do you do with sinners who have already repented but have kind of backslid along the way? Are they permitted then? <laughs> I don't know. Mr. Swanson, don't lower your head like that. This isn't about you. Okay. <laughs> so we got a problem. I understand that people say, well, if you're if you're a sinner, you can't come to Holy Communion. And I and that only repentant sinners can come to Holy Communion. Now I have a problem though. What do we do with unrepentant sinners? Uh, like whomever, that means they can't come. And then we got all these children. You know, who, who supposedly can't come because they're not of the age to make a decision for Jesus Christ. You've always, you've always heard my comment on that. We ask children at age 13 or 14 to make a, quote, adult confession for Jesus Christ, and the Kenny Fair will close to wear to school. I mean, how crazy is that? You know? I, but I can choose my salvation, but I can't figure out what color of socks I want to wear. Well, aside from that corniness that goes on, um, we got a problem of who gets invited. And so what I've tried to do is I said, well, who did Jesus invite? Well, yeah, he invited sinners. The problem is, is that a lot of those sinners that uh, he invited really weren't very good people. The first Christians weren't very good people. And they don't repent until long after Jesus is gone. Do they figure out things? <laughs> if you look at the disciples, they are, they've been lionized. They've been um, almost uh, made out to be little gods. But all you have to do is read the scriptures, and they are far from perfect people. Far, far, far from perfect people. Um, and as a matter of fact, they betray Jesus. They run away from Jesus. They deny the gospel. And yet, that's after they sit at table with Jesus. So Jesus invites to his table the very people who are going to run away. Those are people, it seems to me, that are far from perfect far from perfect, and yet those are the ones that he ends up inviting. I've said this before, that the church um, is not a place for saints, but rather it's the hospital for sick souls who will become saints. And so I would encourage all to take Holy Communion as an opportunity of thanksgiving where it is Jesus Christ who extends the invitation to anybody who wants to come and wants to begin to try and figure out what it means to be a person of God. That's what I would hope we would do. That's what the world is doing today, and we're part of the world still. Amen and amen. And I would ask that uh, the children and their teachers be invited up. I was asked uh, earlier this week by uh, um, a Christian from a different country, who said, who's permitted to participate in, uh, in Holy Communion? This person comes with a Lutheran background. The Presbyterian tradition is very, very clear. <coughs> Those who uh, accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior are welcome. They're welcome. Uh, I'm also clear in the name of Jesus Christ, those who are trying to figure things out. 
are welcome. Those who are trying to discover what it means to live a holy life and what it means, and by holy I mean a life set apart, are welcome. Um, those who are welcome are the ones that Jesus Christ has called, and those are each and every one of us. Amen. Now, if you would be so kind, uh, we'll sing the first two verses of our communion hymn, and as we do that, I would ask the elders to come forward and to uh, prepare the elements. Thank you. Please remain seated. 